Hi, I'm Sue Schick, Chair of Randolph Macon College's Board of Trustees. And on behalf of the board, I'd like to welcome you to this virtual dedication for Payne Hall. It's a virtual celebration because of COVID-19, but we sure hope that you'll join us on campus sometime in the upcoming year when we can celebrate in person. Payne Hall houses our new Bachelor of Science in Nursing program, and it also provides additional classroom space for our robust liberal arts curriculum. Today, we'll celebrate the accomplishments of two extraordinary men for whom this building is named, President Liddell Payne and distinguished alumnus Hat Payne from Randolph-Bacon College's class of 1968. We'll also celebrate the many generous donors who made this beautiful building possible later in the video with President Bob Lindgren. We'll be posting this video on our website, so we sure hope that you'll share it. And today, I'd like to welcome you to the opening of Payne Hall. The nursing program complements the liberal arts experience at RMC in a whole bunch of ways. The first of which is it, like all of our programs here, offers close relationships between students and between students and faculty. So you've got faculty who get to know their students over the course of their full four years in the nursing program, who advise them, who mentor them, who lead them in research, who connect with them, who get to know them as people, not just as students in the classroom. Students get to know each other in that same cohort model, and they connect with one another inside the classroom as well as outside the classroom, whether they're engaged in athletics, whether they're engaged in show choir, whether they're engaged in any of the many extracurricular activities that we offer here, all of that is possible and feeds into the strength of the nursing program. And then the amazing facilities that we offer for that nursing program, this building that I'm standing in right now, and everything that it contributes to the learning environment for innovative, cutting edge education for nursing students moving forward into the profession. Altogether, it adds up to developing the mind and character of our students, just the way our mission statement says. Payne Hall is really important to the student learning experience because it provides the learning spaces they need um, to best learn how to be a nurse. This includes our classroom space, our simulation center, our health and skills labs, our debriefing rooms, and even the common space. This all provides an enriching and lovely experience for students to um, learn how to be the best nurses that they can be. So my first impression when I walked into Payne Hall was very impressed. I was impressed of how everything was so well put together. Um, everything from the color coordination to the study spaces to the state of the art technology is just, it's phenomenal and it's gonna be amazing to actually be able to come inside and use it. And I was excited to see like what the classrooms and I know the simulation labs, I was excited to see what those would look like from the inside. And when I finally toured the inside, like I just thought it was beautiful. From the inside, it just reminded me of what a nursing school would be like at a big school, except we have it here at a small school. I was genuinely at a loss for words. Um, from the mannequins to just the interior design overall of the building to the collaborative learning classrooms, I was just amazed by all of it. And it made me even more excited to do things like clinicals in the spring and just learn all together. The, the upstairs, it, it mimics a hospital, so I'm gonna actually feel like I'm working, you know, at like Bon Secours or like MCV. It's, it's really awesome. I feel like I'm gonna thrive here. My cohort will be able to utilize everything in this building to further our learning experience. So students are gonna have a variety of learning experiences in Payne Hall. In this very classroom, students are gonna be able to work in collaborative teams together. They're actually going to follow a model of case-based um, clinical learning experiences. So they'll work together to actually decide on what is the best care for a patient with a certain condition. Um, and from that, they develop excellent clinical decision-making skills. 
those skills actually then transfer into the care they're gonna provide in our simulation suite. So in the simulation suite, they'll be in a very realistic acute care setting or a home care setting, and they will receive a patient that's a high fidelity mannequin that's programmed to respond to the decisions they make as a nurse. So in their uniform, providing care, making decisions about how to care for that adult with diabetes, that child with asthma, or even that woman in labor. And based on the decisions they make as a nurse, that patient then responds to them. And our students have this rich experience in, in that environment and in the debriefing to then really learn what it means to be a nurse and how to learn from their practice, how to learn from maybe poor decisions that they make or the wise decisions that they make, basically all with the goal of improving their actual nursing practice. So one of the reasons why I'm so excited about RMC the nursing program is just the people. Dealing with the nursing program or, or who's a part of the nursing program has just made me feel really welcomed and have had such an enthusiasm for the program that just makes me feel like, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. And I'm, I'm a part of history. That's, that's so great. Like nobody, no hospital has an RMC nursing student and I feel like I'm gonna be a part of that, that timeline. What drew me to Randolph-Macon was the tight-knit community and how your name was more than just a name. People would know your face and they would know something about you. And I really liked that and I also liked how their nursing cohort, um, it was small and it, it would feel like a tight-knit community. Um, I was searching a lot for nursing programs when uh, I was in high school. Like I already had some interest in Randolph-Macon and I saw that they had a nursing program and I thought it would be a great opportunity to be part of something new, um, like be part of creating the culture for the program, especially the new building. Um, I was very excited about that as well. So I am excited about Randolph-Macon's new nursing program. Um, I cannot wait to get into the skills lab and begin practice. It's amazing to think that everything we'll be practicing starting next semester will be utilized throughout our entire career. Um, and I'm excited just to come into the new building that everyone has worked so hard on um, and use what they've placed here for us uh, to the best of our abilities. I've, I've said more than once that a liberal arts education is fundamental to the success of anyone working in a, in a global economy. I think that the, I, I, I want Randolph Macon to continue to be successful in developing students with critical thinking, with values, uh, good judgment, and that liberal arts education truly makes a difference in terms of sharpening interpersonal skills uh, and working in a diverse environment. So that's, that's one of my wishes for Randolph making to continue. I know we've got some challenges in some areas, but we are meeting those challenges head on and I'm praying for continued success. Having worked in, in industry uh, for over 40 years, I've been privileged and honored to have a number of, uh, of accolades and citations and other awards given to me. And this particular one is most important to me. I cannot be more humbled, 
more honored, uh, more sincerely touched by the generosity of the, the board, the president, the administration to have a building named after me. That's, that's an incredible honor and one that uh, it's rarely, rarely given to anyone. And for me, it's the, the capstone of my career. My 54 years with Randolph-Macon and the opportunities that I've had to serve on boards and committees and, and to be an active participant, even though geographically I'm so far away, uh, Randolph-Macon is my first love. And despite the fact that matriculation was somewhat difficult, this award is, is clearly the capstone, as I said, of, of my career and my, my work with Randolph-Macon. I'm just deeply touched, honored, and, and frankly, I get emotional about it. Uh, let me just tell you how, how uh, President Lingren presented this to me, if you don't mind. Um, President Lingon comes out to California on business often. And when he does, he and I try to get together just to share what's going on with the college. And in his usually inimitable way, <clears throat> he came to my home and uh, we were talking about this brand new nursing program on which we've been working on in many years. And then he said, well, by the way, let me show you, uh, show you the floor plans and the elevations of the buildings. And he presented me with a book and I was looking through the pages. And as I turned through and I noticed on the face of the building, the name Payne, I just became emotional. I'm almost becoming emotional again. It was such, I was so touched by it and so humbled and felt so blessed. Words just can't describe. And all he did in his usual very subtle way was just to smile and pass me a box of Kleenex. <laughs> Today, I'm delighted to be joined at the hip roof with Hap Payne. He was a very courageous young man when he enrolled as the college's first African-American student. He has had a very successful professional and personal life, and he has served the college with distinction as vice chair of the board. I want to say a word or so about being a college administrator. College presidents are very fortunate when their particular strengths and weaknesses happen to fit the college's needs during their tenure. And since we cannot predict the future, there's no way to know whether a, a particular appointment is going to be successful or not. I feel I was very fortunate during my years at Randolph-Macon because I seemed to have fit reasonably well, or at least people let me think so. But then I faced nothing like the problems faced by J. Earl Moreland, surviving the Great Depression and maintaining an all-male enrollment during World War II and the Korean War. That he led the college so nobly through those parlous years is a testimony to his greatness as a president. I'm aware that in my case, my name on this building recognizes the progress made during my tenure. Although I was certainly involved with, with such progress, it was the result of the work of many, many people, alumni, trustees, cabinet officers, hardworking faculty and staff. So it is in their name I gratefully accept the honor being bestowed on me. By the way, our daughter Jennifer has pointed out to Jean and me the significance of where the Payne Building is located. She was concerned at first that it was being built on the historic site where she and a number of neighborhood children once played football and was a bit, bit miffed at the, at the loss of this space. She then realized it was located at the end of Taylor Street. Now Taylor is Jean's family name. So for us, Having a pain building at the conjunction of a Taylor Street as a reminder of how very much Jean contributed to Randolph Macon. Her untiring devotion, her energy, and her ideas all greatly added to my presidency and to the college. So, on behalf of the entire Taylor Payne family, I thank you all very, very much. 
Hello, I'm Bob Lindgren, president of Randolph-Macon College, and I'm delighted that you have joined us to celebrate this very special occasion and this very special building. Payne Hall is a simply transformative addition to our beautiful campus and will support our outstanding faculty in providing the very best nursing education possible. Combined with the unparalleled education and unique opportunities that our students are offered here, RMC nursing students are being prepared to be leaders in patient care. Payne Hall is not only a transformative addition to RMC, but to future healthcare in our area and far beyond. I fully expect RMC educated nurses will have a significant and positive impact on the communities and the people whom they serve. Now this state-of-the-art building was made possible by the enormous generosity, kindness, and foresight of others. The late Macon Brock, class of 1964, and his wife Joan have together been this college's most long-standing and generous supporters and leaders. And Macon and Joan had a vision for the establishment of a nursing program at RMC, and it, along with the construction of Payne Hall, have been made possible through the support of the college's Brock Venture Fund. We are profoundly grateful for that support. We also say most sincere thanks to Tom Birdsong, class of 1949, his wife Jane, a deeply respected public health nurse in her own right, along with the Birdsong family and corporation. The Birdsong support of RMC has been legendary and steadfast for literally generations. Their financial generosity has also made Payne Hall possible. Payne Hall is named after two people who have been so important to Randolph-Macon College and our history. President Liddell Payne was RMC's 13th president and his outstanding and steady leadership greatly enhanced our students, our faculty, and our campus in countless ways that endure, deeply so to this very day. He's a beloved and distinguished leader in the history of RMC. Mr. Haywood A. Payne, known affectionately as HAP, earned his bachelor's degree in science in chemistry from Randolph-Macon in 1968. He was the college's first African-American student and graduate, known and deeply respected for his intelligence, determination, courage, and resilience in facing great adversity in breaking down racial barriers at RMC and beyond. Hap went on to have a very distinguished career as a senior executive in the Chevron Corporation and was a deeply admired and effective leader on our board of trustees for many years as well. We are quite simply honored that Payne Hall bears the name of these two remarkable people who have so influenced our beloved college and its success. But it is our great hope that all of you will be able to join us for a formal ribbon cutting as soon as we possibly can so that we can celebrate in person these remarkable men in this magnificent building. In the meantime, thank you for watching today and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping us build extraordinary futures at Randolph-Macon College. For helping us build extraordinary students. For helping us build extraordinary nurses. For supporting my education. Thank you for all that you do for Randolph-Macon College.